Welcome back to another episode of Animal Medicine with Wise Mountain. I'm coming to you today from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho. You hear that drumming in the background? It's actually my mom. Now you see where I get it. As I meditated today, I posed the question to Great Spirit and our animal spirit guides, how do we get through this unprecedented time? Everything that's going on in the world is really challenging all of us. So I think we could just all use a little help from our animal friends. Let's pull a card. Hmm. Contrary dog. I think dog in both positions is beneficial to the question and the situation that the world is in right now. So let's dive in. Dog, you are so noble until the bitter end. Your medicine is the teaching of true and loyal friends. Dog is the medicine of loyalty. All of the Southwest and Plains Indian tribes had dogs. These noble animals would often give warning signals of approaching danger. They helped in the hunt and were a great source of warmth on long winter nights. Since the canine tribe has many breeds, early Indian dogs were usually half wild. This wildness, however, never divested the owners of their dog's innate loyalty. Dog has been considered the servant of humanity throughout history. If a person carries dog medicine, he or she is usually serving others or humanity in some way. Here you will find the charity worker, the philanthropist, the nurse, the counselor, the minister, and the soldier. Dog was the servant soldier that guarded the tribe's lodges from surprise attack. Dog is a medicine that embodies the loving gentleness of best friend and the half-wild protector energy of territorial imperative. Like Anubis, the jackal dog protector of Egypt, Dog is a guardian. Throughout history, Dog has been the guardian of hell as well as of ancient secrets, hidden treasures, and babies, while mothers were cooking or in the fields. Dog honors its gifts and is loyal to the trust placed in its care. In examining dog medicine, you might find that you have fond personal memories of owning and loving Dog as a pet. The message that dogs are trying to give you is that you must delve deeply into your sense of service to others. Canines are genuinely service-oriented animals and are devoted to their owners with a sense of loyalty that supersedes how they are treated. If dog has been yelled at or paddled, it still returns love to the person who is the source of its bad treatment. This does not come from stupidity but rather from a deep and compassionate understanding of human shortcomings. It is as if a tolerant spirit dwells in the heart of every canine that asks only to be of service. You can also see dogs that have had the loyalty beaten out of them. They cower and cry at the slightest look of disapproval, but this is not their normal nature. Some varieties of dogs have even been trained against their nature to be brutal and vicious. Out of a sense of service, these breeds have adopted the attack-oriented desires of their owners. They carry an altered genetic memory of what service means if they are to be approved of by their masters. Dog medicine asks you to look at how readily your sense of loyalty is countermanded by your need for approval. If you have pulled the dog card, there are several questions you need to consider depending on the situation about which you are asking. One. Have I recently forgotten that I owe my allegiance to my personal truth in life? Two, is it possible that gossip or the opinions of others have jaded my loyalty to a certain friend or group? Three, have I denied or ignored someone who is trying to be my loyal friend? Four, have I been loyal and true to my goals? In the contrary position, Dog may be telling you that you have become critical or mean due to the company you are keeping. The reversal of this medicine could also imply that it is time to stop cowering with fear and time to begin to tackle the adversaries of your confidence. 
The key is to realize that these are not external enemies, but thought forms in your own mind, which tell you that you are not worthy of loyalty, either to yourself or to others. You may want to examine the patterns of disloyalty in your life. Do you, for example, pass on gossip? Or not speak up when someone else is rumor mongering? Do you make jokes that belittle others? Do you refuse to return kindness? These are characteristics of fear, and particularly of a fear that is common to the human two-legged family, the fear of not belonging or of not being approved of. Reclaim the power of loyalty to self and self-truths. Become like dog, your own best friend. Thanks, mom. Just drumming away. So how could I do a dog medicine episode without my own dog here? Aya, say hello. <laughs> Whether we have a dog in our lives or not, we do have to become our own best friend. What do you see? Is that a bird? Where'd it go? Well, I think Aya's had enough of this. And so we both bid you farewell. And we'll see you next time.